Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the implementation of half adder using the NAND gate. Subscribe this channel for more videos and notifications. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. Link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic. Implementing the half adder with NAND gate. First we will see the details about the half adder. Then we will go to the NAND gate implementation. So the half adder operation need two binary inputs. So the half adder will add two binary inputs. That the two numbers binary input 1 and 2 then the output is nothing but sum and carry it will generate the sum as well as carry right so the two inputs and two outputs right now we'll refer the to the table the two inputs are a and b right because of a and b two inputs there are four possibilities are available 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 the output is sum and carry Right. So, while adding the two digit, we are, we, the carry is generated. The carry will be generated. That carry should be added with the, the consecutive digits, next digit. Right. Now, we will see that suppose A and B both are 0. 0 plus 0 means the sum is 0, carry also 0. 0 plus 1 means very, very simple 0 plus 1 is 1, the carry is 0. 1 plus 0 also the sum is 1, carry is 0. So, for first three combination, the carry is 0, the carry is not generated. But in the fourth one, 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1 is sum equal to 0 and the carry is generated. It should be added with the next digit, right. So, while adding the two digits, we need to concentrate the carry also. It should be added with next digit. So, totally there are three digits are available. So, while adding two digit, we need to add third digit also, that is the carry. So, practically, the adding two digit, we have one more carry. So, adding three digit is practically possible. So, that is done by the full adder. Full adder will add three digits. That is two inputs and carry. So, practically we need three digits. So, the full adder is practically implemented. But half adder is not practically implemented. But using half adder, we can construct the full adder. So, that we are using the half adder. Right. So, the fourth combination 1 1, the sum is 0 and the carry is 1 right so all four possibilities are analyzed so there's a block diagram available half adder the two inputs a and b the two outputs carry and sum right now we need to develop the logical expression for this sum and carry from the table itself we can say so we can easily construct the expression for sum and carry so these two ones are available using k map we can develop the, so the digital expression binary expression uh, before that we will uh, see from the table itself 1 and 1 is there right so this one is correspondingly the input 0 and 1 the 0 means is a bar 1 means b a bar b right one more one is there that is 1 0 1 0 means a b bar right so a bar b plus a b bar the sum is nothing but a bar b plus a b bar that is nothing but the xr gate a bar b plus a b bar is the xr gate so the, by using the XR gate, we can implement the sum, right? We will see in the detail by the K map. Similarly, here, here 1 is there, only 1, 1 is available. Correspondingly, what is available here? 1, 1. 1, 1 means A into B, right? The carry is nothing but A into B. The expression for carry is nothing but 1 into A into B. Now, we will see the same thing using the K map. So, this K map for carry. We have two inputs A and B. A is available vertically, B is available horizontally. 0, 1, 0, 1. The carry available for this 1 into 1, 1, 1. A also 1, B also 1. So here 1, 1. A is 1 here, B is 1 here. Only this cell. Other cells are 0. So the correspondingly what we have? Carry equal to AB. Carry equal to A into B. Then for the sum sum again two inputs a b 0 1 0 1 so for 0 1 as well as 1 0 the terms are 1 remaining terms are 0 so that we already discussed it is nothing but a b bar here also we can see that a b bar this one a bar b right a b bar a bar b this is nothing but the xr gate right xr a xr xr gate of a and b now we got the expression for carry a b sum a exclusive b right so in order to implement with the nand gate 
So NAND gate is nothing but multiplication. So the carry can be easily implemented with the NAND gate A into B. But in the sum what we have one addition is there. A B bar plus A B bar. So we need to modify this expression. Then only we can implement with the NAND gate. Before that we will see the normal implementation using XR gate and AND gate. Right. So by using this XR gate the input A and B is given. The output of XR gate is A bar B plus A B bar, right? This. So, this is nothing but this XR gate will produce the sum. Similarly, by using the AND gate, A and B is given as A input, it will produce A into B. That is nothing but carry. So, the normal implementation in order to get the sum and carry, for sum we are using the XR gate, carry we are using the AND gate. But in this, we are going to see how to implement with the NAND gate. Right. So, while NAND gate it is multiplication, so carry can be easily implemented, but sum we have the addition is there, so we need to go for modification, that is we need to take the complement. By taking complement two times, we can convert from OR operation to AND operation. Now, we will see the modification. So, this is a given problem, draw the half adder using NAND gate. Right. So, we already got the expression carry equal to A into B sum equal to a b bar plus a bar b. In order to implement with NAND gate, we need a AND operation, right? Multiplication, here addition is there. So, complement is taken two times. By taking to complement two times, the original expression will not affect, right? How to go for the next stage? a b bar plus a bar b, the two time complement is available. Based on the de Morgan's theorem, a plus b the whole bar is nothing but a bar dot b bar right a plus b the whole bar equal to a bar into b bar now this addition is converted into multiplication similarly we can take this is a this is b so a plus b the whole bar is nothing but a bar into b bar that is a b bar the whole bar dot a bar b the whole bar right so here addition converted into multiplication. Similarly, this addition is converted into multiplication and complement is given individually. A B bar is the first expression for that complement. A bar B is the next expression for that complement. One more complement is already available. Now, see this expression that this expression can be easily implemented with the NAND gate because all are multiplication A into B bar into a bar into B, only multiplication available, so we can easily implement with the NAND gate. Here also A into B is available. Now we will see how to implement these two expression using the NAND gate, right. See this, here the two inputs are available, A and B, right. So in order to implement this, A, B bar the whole bar, we need one NAND gate. Here also we need one one more NAND gate. See these two NAND gates are available in order to produce this first expression and second expression, right. So, A is given directly, uh, second what we need is B bar. So, B is available here using the inverter, this converted into B bar, it is given to the NAND gate. So, A B bar is given to the first NAND gate. Similarly, B is given directly, A is given with inverter, so A bar. So, B A bar is given to the second NAND gate, right. A B bar is given to first NAND gate, B A bar is given to the second NAND gate. What is the operation of NAND gate? It is AND gate means both are multiplied, NAND gate means both are multiplied and complement, right. NAND, AND gate means A into B, NAND gate means A into B the whole bar. So, similarly here A into B bar the whole bar, similarly here a bar b the whole bar that is the nature of the NAND gate that is complement is taken right. Now we need to uh, multiply we need to multiply these two again because the expression is a b bar the whole bar into a bar b the whole uh, uh, whole bar again one more whole bar is available right. In order to go in order to multiply this we are using one more NAND gate right. What is the, what is the nature of this NAND gate it will multiply these two a b bar the whole bar into a bar b the whole bar again one more bar because of NAND gate. Right? So, this expression is nothing but the expression for sum a b bar the whole bar into a bar b the whole bar to the another one more bar is there. So, we got the sum. So, this was this part of circuit will produce the output of the half order sum of the half order. Right. 
Now we will go to the carry. Carry what is the expression A into B. Right. So we are using one NAND gate. A this is this is A is given. This one B is given. This is A and B is given. What is the nature? A into B the whole bar. AND gate means A into B. NAND gate means A into B the whole bar. But what we need in the finally we need only A B. Right. Here one bar is available. So we are using one more NAND gate with the same input. So what is this? This NAND gate will act as a NOT gate, right? Having same input, if you give the same input, the two inputs are same, the NAND gate will act as a, a AND gate, act as a NOT gate, right? So A, B bar is given, both the inputs are A, B bar. So A, B bar the whole bar, because of NOT gate, one more bar is available, right? So A, B into 2 times complement. The 2 are cancelled, only we have AB. So, this AB is nothing but carry, C out. Right? So, first we are using one NAND gate in order to produce AB whole bar. By using one more NAND gate with the same input, we got AB whole bar the again one more bar. So, 2 times this bar cancel, finally we got AB. Right? So, this part of circuit will produce the carry of the half adder. Right? Here we got the sum, here we got the carry. So, here only we are using the NAND gate. So, in this video we discuss what is half adder, then what is the expression for sum and carry, how to implement with the normal XOR gate and AND gate, then how to implement with the NAND gate. For that we are taking complement two times, right. So, finally we implemented with the logic gates, right. So, here the main important thing is while adding 2 bits the carry is generated. So, practically addition of 3 bit is possible 2 inputs and carry that is done by the full adder. In half adder only 2 bits are there that is practically not possible but half adders are mainly used to construct the full adders. So, that we are discussing the half adder right. So, in this we discuss half adder implementation with the NAND logic. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. Link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.